What's up? What up? What up? What up, y'all? What's up, We Feel? What up, We? What it do? Welcome back to the We Feel, y'all. Welcome to you. If you're new, hey, welcome to you, too. This is your girl, La T, here at Tears and We Throw Show, where you show enough, never know what you're going to be. Do we know? Do we show enough, never know what we're going to get? No, we don't, but love it. Um, we're a spiritual reader, a channel messenger. We get messages from the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. They're here, yes. We are a willing and surrendered vessel to bring the message. And we never know what they're going to bring. We just don't. It's like life. It's like a whole box of chocolates. Now, the message could start slow. It could. We got to get it out the can. Like that old school Crisco. You know what I'm saying? Like that thick, white, large shit. And you got to put it in the pan. And the Alpha and Omega, they come in and they turn the heat up. We get to cooking. What we cooking? We never know what. We just don't, beloved. Um, we're going to start with uh, some clarifying life situations. Maybe get some clarity some clarity on some things. Let's see what they bring it. Thank you to the Alpha and Omega for bringing the message, bringing in truth and clarity, always for the highest. Yes. For thy will be done, beloved. And we appreciate your guidance showing us the tears in the field is what I just heard. Walking unscathed, protected, yes, and rising flames, beloved. Woo, woo, woo. Walking unscathed through the fire. Through the fire. Yeah, we sing like nobody's listening, too. Till I lean into the wall For a chance to be with you They gladly risk it all. Mm, maybe not. Um, I do feel like somebody feels like they're walking through the fire. I am feeling that energy. Walking through the fire week. Yes. But being protected as you go through. I'm getting like Daniel in the lion's den energy. The three boys, Ashmack and Mishkel and M. Dave. You know what I'm saying? They names. But they went into that uh, furnace. Yep. And no matter how much they turned heat up, they didn't get burned. Why? Because there was a presence in there with them. The Alpha and Omega. They're with them and keeping them safe. Protected. Walking unscathed. You are fortunate. You are fortunate. Trap, a trap was laid out for you, but you were too smart to fall for it. Somebody threw you in a trap, or they were trying to trap you, and you were too smart to fall for it. Let your passion guide you to fulfilling your purpose that was meant for you. I'm feeling like you are walking through a trap. Or you got around a trap, you were protected from a trap that was meant, designed to ensnare you. And now you are walking towards your purpose. You are being guided towards your purpose, beloved. Maybe you needed to, yeah, sometimes, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, sometimes you have to go into the fire in order to, you know, come out with the fire. To, like, to be set ablaze. I'm feeling like you on fire, but you're not burning. You know what I mean? I know that probably sounds weird. But it's like, you know, like fire ignited on the inside, even though something tried to entrap you, ensnare you. On uh, And real, you know, physical versus spiritual. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. I'm feeling like a covering or something like that was over you. Like a covering, I say. Yeah. Um, a hood. Cloaked, even cloaked. I'm getting the card mysterious out of this deck. Something about you. Mysticism, a gift, a spiritual gift. Definitely be here now. Practice mindfulness to be present in the moment and gain insight. Some insight is being given on to you. The spirit wants you to meditate, to be conscious in the now. Don't be in the past, don't be in the future, but stay present. Keep your mind focused on the present. Harbor of peace, that definitely gives us peace, right? We find serene, ref find serene refuge in the peaceful embrace of a gentle harbor, allowing tranquility to steal your waters. I'm feeling like the rocking of waves. Like even being on a boat, but you could feel the waves rocking. 
I'm feeling a huge wave. Rough seas or something like that. Coming waves slapping up against the boat. I'm feeling you can rest safely throughout this storm. You know what I mean? Because you're protected. Like the Most High God manages the storm. It commands the winds and the waves. So if you feel anything like a rocking and you need peace, you can go to the Most High God for protection through the storm. And that, to, that will give us peace, right? Like also, or to ask the Most High God to calm the seas. Yes. You can speak to it, right? Ask the most high God to calm the seas. And I'm even using to fill in your throat. Like you could speak to the mountain and it will move. So if there's something that's in your way, um, you can speak to it. We see renewal again and we see growth here, the energy of growth. I do feel a renewed spirit. I feel new life. I'm feeling onk energy, new life. But, ooh, soulmate, enlightenment. Somebody may have realized that, you know, you're the one, or you might have came together with self. You're the one for me. Yeah, it took a while to see. You're the one, though. Discovery. See, it took a while for them to see it. But we see, look, there it is, mysticism. Right. You might have an issue with your gift. We see rejection, but grow to love it, to appreciate it, to understand it, to accept it. Right. It's something that you're discovering during this renewal phase. Your passion, whatever purpose was meant for you. You know, it this could be you coming together with self. It could be you coming together with another person, an actual soulmate. Ooh, I'm feeling love for you. We saw trickery, we saw destiny, we saw forgiveness. Those are all attributes that you could resonate with. I mean, trickery, a trap that was ensnared and set for you, almost ensnared you. Or maybe it did ensnare you. Maybe you got trapped in something and the Most High God brought you through. release then release perseverance you had to walk through something you were released from a trap right because you had the protection and it's leading you towards your passion you're definitely a mystic you know somebody with a gift somebody that's tapped in you having to either learn perseverance or persevere through this hard situation see completion there's an ending here and you will see something, you will learn something, discover something more about self. I feel it's not going to be just as cut and dry as you're releasing an old situation, an old uh, relationship, whatever the case, situationship, whatever it is, marriage, whichever one resonates. We see impartiality. I'm feeling being unbiased, right? holding no bias like it is. It's not necessarily good nor bad. But um, come to good with it. Like where you don't really feel no kind of way about it. To be present. Like what is it? Mm. Kind of like whatever it was doing for you was done. Like, you, it did it already, right? You got what you needed. It could be your gift. It could have cracked you open. It could have awakened you. And whatever was done is done too. So, I'm feeling like release it. Honor its completion, right? You can honor it. You can acknowledge it. You can feel it. You can see it. And you can release it. You can let it go, beloved. I don't know if this is a new soulmate or if this is somebody from the old, somebody that you're releasing. That's what I'm being told now. Is this energy or somebody that you're releasing? We see bittersweet and grief. Yeah. Bittersweet and grief. You know, don't feel no kind of way. About, and that's hard, you know what I mean, to say, you know... 
I don't feel better sleep. I don't feel grief. I don't really feel nothing. Insecurity is here. It's causing a, I feel deep rooted. It's tapping or touching or triggering some sort of deep seated, deep rooted insecurity, like deep down within. Like maybe on the surface, you are, you know, passionate. You understand purpose. You have a sense of confidence, but I feel like it's only so deep, right? Because this little um, demon, insecurity demon, we'll call him. You know, he's deep down within. He's a couple layers in, you know, two, three, four, five, maybe six layers down, you know, deep in the deep, right? But I feel in pink crown chakra energy, we keep getting the energy of workaholic, like you work a lot, or you could be an artist or something like that. But I'm feeling crown chakra, you know, like the most high God will help you relieve um, some insecurity, may even speak to you, help guide you through the situation, help walk you through it, walk you towards your destiny to fulfilling your purpose. We, it's going to definitely bring happiness, joy, happiness, a sense of perfection, right? You're definitely going to overcome any old relationships or things out of obligation, even healing um, any past child inner child issues insecurity was deep down in that you will heal it i'm feeling prayer i'm hearing magnet balance impartiality balance things being balanced out once you get to good once you get to part with it you know what i mean then your abundance will come in see now we see self-worth and miracles unfolding self-worth and miracles unfolding yes underneath that is perception major arcana life-changing situations take great care meditate pray harbor of peace be in the present right stay in the present don't get too far ahead of yourself don't go behind you what's done is done beloved you were protected through it and you know again i'm feeling like this perseverance like you were not alone you are not in this space by yourself. Wherever you were at, beloved, you didn't go by yourself and you came out with something. This scarf, the way it's positioned, always gives me a butterfly energy. Butterfly transformation along your pathway as you release some things. You know, maybe you are on the pathway of releasing or maybe you need to release this old situation you know, and understand how the Most High God brought you through it. It still protected you through it. And um, it opened you up towards your passion to stay in the present, right? It helped to your passion and your destiny. Stay in the present and harbor peace, peace within self, come into alignment. There's some things you're going to discover. You're going to be enlightened too. You're going to be put in service, put to work. And whatever it is, I think you're going to pursue with all of your heart, beloved. You're going to go for it. Um, if you have feelings of things being bittersweet or grief, most I got to say, let it go. Come to balance with it. You know what I mean? Come together and sell. Um, this old person that you had to release, you know, things happen and you probably went into that relationship i'm saying relationships are assignments you went into that relationship to discover something it was you what was in you yeah to discover what was in you what was unseen subconscious illusion fear anxiety and security right using your intuition understanding how to recognize trickery um, disillusionment you know when you're being someone's trying to disillusion you or confuse you change destiny though even karma depending on how you read it i definitely feel like things are turning they're going to turn in your favor with enlightenment joy abundance self-worth oh yeah you're going to be out here sitting on top of the world top of the world top of the world top of the world yeah that's good energy right there something is a challenge this sitting on top of the oral i hear accepting it like the demon of insecurity raises its little head again and you have an issue with self-worth 
and to accept the joy and abundance where you are destined to go may cause some hesitation, some intrepidation, anxiety. I see anxiety. Yeah, hangman. Challenge with this awakening, with this different perspective, to see yourself in this light, right? Perspective, right? With releasing, surrendering, letting go, even sacrificing, sacrificing something. We see readjustment, right? A readjustment needs to take place, an adjustment of how you see self. This one too. Yeah, strength. Strengthen you. This situation also strengthened you, helped you with your willpower, your courage, you know, um, inner fire, spiritual strength, you know, the ability to calm the lion within. I feel self-calming, self-soothing, being able to harbor peace, generate peace within self. Hierophant, yeah, it definitely touched your beliefs, you know, belief system, teaching, spirituality, tradition, Spiritual wisdom, wisdom, I feel. Ethics, we also see forgiveness, compassion. Compassion unto self, I feel. And other selves, but mostly self. I do see morality, you know, something about your morality, something about your ethics. I feel are very high, beloved. Yeah, empress. Very high. You definitely, you know, are... Again, I feel divine, divine feminine energy is here, but divine energy, I feel mysticism. It's something about your ability to create, to manifest, master manifester. Abundance is down here, but to feel worthy of it. You could be blocking it because you don't feel worthy of it. So it's like the ability to feel it, right? To have your manifestations, one of the quickest ways is to be in it now, to be in the present, to walk it, to feel it, to be it, right? Whatever you are, you will attract. It will come into you. So if you walk in that energy like right now, would you be like, okay, I could take a little bit of whatever it is that I got and I'm going to make something. I'm going to do the thing with what I got. You know what I mean? Because I'm just it. I'm that thing. I'm it. I am it. I am protected, right? I, I, I know it, but I feel like whatever you went through, showed you it and now you're coming to grips with what it is that you see when you look at you we yes tower sudden change is coming sudden change hold on to your socks hold on to your peace i hear things could take off fast for you we. it really could like if things were to suddenly change in your life and everything that you ever thought that you wanted to manifest was just suddenly there today, now, would you be ready for it? Most high God said no. You're still learning. It's still walking you through this process towards your destiny. You don't see yourself in this space yet. Death. There's some things still ending. But where there's an ending, there is a new beginning. There's going to be a sudden upheaval. It could be a disaster, but I feel disaster. A sudden change. I'm picking up painful loss, some sort of tragedy. Now we did see soulmate and completion, death, cop, death energy down here, and we see death again. Release death energy. This person is definitely standing in a cemetery, right? Um, a burial ground. Having to release to bury, to honor what was released is here, you know. So I am picking up on these hands that are in that are spiritual, you know. They are not physical. So if someone has passed, my condolences is always, and that could be why grief is here. We see bittersweet, and we saw the energy of grief, right? Grief. My bad job. Grief. Right? So, it could be a bittersweet situation where someone that you were in relationship with passes. And we keep picking that energy up, you know. And not to say that it's the same for everyone. Because, you know, people pass all the time and most people be in relationships. So, with somebody that you know that you used to be with could definitely 
pass on, beloved, you know, transition. And if that be the case, my condolences. See Chariot. We definitely see somebody moving on. This could be moving from physical to spiritual. It could be some sort of ambulance or some sort of vehicle, right? Temperance. Angels. I'm feeling the angel of death. We're coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low. Look, world car completion. Sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Yeah, completion. Mm. Permit. Introspection, relax, enlightenment. Enlightenment, soul searching. I see inner strength. I feel, I see being alone. And I see inner guidance. Yes. Strength, strength, inner strength. Right? Um, strength, courage, compassion. I see determination. Again, compassion and action. Also, influence. We saw energy. The lovers. See, this is somebody that pass away. Justice, karmatic justice, something being balanced out. And we saw a balance and we saw impartiality. See y'all, it's almost like don't have no grief for this person passing because oh goodness, we had a yawn all of a sudden. Because um, temperance. I heard somebody got put to sleep. Wow, temperance, high priestess. Somebody got put to sleep. Somebody could actually pass in their sleep. Somebody see justice again to the lovers. You know, somebody could actually pass in their sleep. Change. The wheel changing. Somebody could pass in their sleep. That could be the judgment. That could be, yeah, the karma that they reap, which is, I mean, it's peaceful to pass in your sleep, I think, miracle, and somebody, to... it's some sort of relationship, this person could be older than you, I'm telling you, I get the yard. like seriously, Go with the flow. We see growth. I'm feeling cycle, spiral. Psychic is here. Psychic. Somebody's definitely a psychic, a mystic. Veiled, a veil. You were masked. Maybe you didn't know that you were psychic, maybe you wear a mask because of your abilities. Either way, take it which way it resonates with. Shadow energy, insecurity. Yeah, a healer. You could be a healer. The messages that you give is heal. What you do is your, your psychic powers could be healing and helpful for people. You know, maybe somebody tried to trap you in something. You want this down? You want to say it? Somebody tried to trap you in something. They misled you. I'm seeing thief, like thief or thievery. They stole something from you. They refused to give it to you. Now too many chances have passed. Ooh. Ooh, the angel of death has come to collect their ass, reap their ass, is what I just heard. And we see good fortune, and they've had it in reverse. Somebody, karma is changed. It's karma is coming. Bad fortune. This trans transformation. They put to be transformed in the spirit, beloved. Transformed in the spirit. Whatever trap they set for you, oh, they finna fall into one. Like I'm feeling the way that you went through the fire was transformed. This person is getting ready to go through the fire and transform. We see magic, psychic. This person could have been trying to um, do some sort of magic on you, spell work, speak against you. I heard specifically. New moon is here. No new beginning for them. And that's the truth because of the lies. Truth was in reverse. 
They told some sort of lie. Or they spoke ill against you. They fought. I'm seeing bear false witness. Your soulmate. Yeah. This person was supposed to be a soulmate. Right. And again, here's you with the mask. And past life energy. Y'all could have had some sort of contract together. To make good on it. We, this person was supposed to make good on your contract. And they reneged. They breached. They breached the contract. I'm here in failure to pay. Now they're going to pay today in a different way, is what I heard. We see knowledge, books. So they have some sort of knowledge, I feel, about magic. Yes. Magic and temperance. Angels of darkness. So this person plays in dark magic. They do. Seven large. So, big seven, I'm seeing, um, that's the name of this song, seven large, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm getting 700,000, 700,000. Power is here, and we see karmic pathway. This karmic pathway unlocked your power, I believe, because you may not have known something mystic. You may have always felt a little mysterious, a little bit differently different, but you didn't know what it was, beloved. You didn't know what it was. Trust and fire. See, trusting that the Most High God, trust has been developed now that the Most High God has brought you through this fire. Full moon, I'm feeling release energy. Could be release of a sense of courage, right? Or you may have gained courage. Again, that inner strength that's there. We see um, releasing. That's that energy. You know, this cemetery, this uh, burial ground energy. Water. I feel an abundance of flow. Water, energy, currency, currency, and then it's giving me the sign of money. Like, it's coming in abundance for the lies that they told. They may have said something against your flow, against your currency. And I'm even seeing the two opposites, the fire against water, like the opposites. We, yeah, you definitely are psychic, you know, lucky, even. It's going to be, look, energy of release. Lucky. Like something is going to come out of this release. And then we see boundaries. Somebody may have crossed the boundary, right? They may have broken, I'm hearing a spiritual law. They broke some sort of spiritual law. And whatever it is, it's being balanced. It's being righted, right? It could be because who you are in the spirit like in or what you two were in the spirit like if you guys were spiritual soulmates and this person was supposed to protect you they were supposed to um a certain part of the contract that was in place and this person went against the contract like they flipped opposite they turned against you nemesis karmic this person is getting ready to reap um be uh yeah they they gonna get their judgment is what I just heard. Restore yourself with alone time, right? Forgive yourself is here. Forgive yourself. And we did see the energy of forgiveness come up a couple times. Forgive yourself. Don't become a hostage to the past, right? Come out. That's why spirit started with don't be in the past, don't be in the future, be here, be present, be now. Making peace, harboring peace, right? Release fear is here. Fear, insecurity, courage, step in. I feel inner strength, inner fire, you know, spiritual strength. Um, stop inventing scary stories about the future, right? So forgive. Don't be a hostage to the past and don't invent scary stories about the future. So just like most I was just saying, Stay out of the past. Stay out of the future. Be present now. Forgiving yourself has the energy of don't be hostage to the, uh, to the past 
and releasing fear says stop inventing scary stories about the future. Both of those things, being in the past or being in the future, don't do it. Be here now. As long as you are here now and you are present, I feel you could face whatever it is that you're going through head on. Like you could tackle it. You could tackle it. Charge for it. See, tap into your spiritual power. That's what this was. Not only awakening you to, but helping you learn how to tap into your spiritual power. Reach out to a power greater than yourself to help solve a dilemma. Stay open to his guidance in your life. Release shame. You have a sense of shame about something. Again, that insecurity that's deep down in there. Something that says I'm not worthy um, of this big thing. Because I feel like whatever is in your purpose that you're being ignited, like it's huge. It's big. Like you wouldn't expect it. And even if you could see it and you could, you know, you can kind of feel it, but you're hesitating. You don't go all the way with it. You can see yourself, but then you don't. You stop yourself. It's like. I hear, can that be me type of energy? If you've been ashamed or if you've been shamed, I feel if you have been ashamed for being sensitive or anything else, tell yourself, I'm ready to release this shame. Forgive, release. It's released down here. And also, I am a loving and caring person. You are a loving and caring person. Mr. Groove. I hear, get your groove back. Mr. Groove, get your groove back. Release it. And I feel like this person is giving this flower, this sense of compassion to themselves. You know, gifting themselves their flowers. Like releasing this shame. Releasing this shame. Like cutting the cords on it. Cutting yourself a pretty flower. <laughs> Anything else in here, spirit say right now? Quiet your mind. Overthinking a problem is not the key to any door. Take a few breaths and still your inner chatter. Let yourself just be for a while. Just be. Be in the present. Be here. Not in the future. Not in the past. Don't overthink the past. Don't overthink the future. Just be present now, beloved. Just be this here anything else I hear wisdom oracle and then I hear journey the truth time to go time to go be flexible be flexible it's something to clean up right things are still being cleaned up Go the distance. Persevere. You can persevere, beloved. You can. Why and Treasure Island. The why for this is to show you the gift that you are carrying. The why is to show you the gift that you're carrying. Put you into service, I believe. A new life. See? Put you into service. A new life. And we were saying, I think we said that we were feeling new life energy. It's a fork in the road, though. And one of them leads to milk and honey, and one of them leads back to the past. You don't want that, honey. It's what I just heard. Something about the past. Maybe staying in it, like to forget, refusing to release it, like living in the past, to clean something up from the past. I definitely feel like there's going to be a past scene, but there's something else that's in here, right? Again, it could be insecurity. It could be issues, again, of self-worth, worthiness, all the same sentiment, right? I'm seeing a It's right here. The ability to see yourself in this abundance, like your mysticism, the transformation, 
the fact that you are protected on this journey from all things, from every weapon, for no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Like your journey was protected. Like you may have gone through something, a trial and tribulation, but you were brought out with something, the purpose, understanding your purpose, getting the assignment, right? And to... Be here in the present and appreciate what it is that the Most High God has shown you, revealed onto you. It, the whole combination of everything helps bring you peace. Yes. Fork in the world. Choose peace. Choose peace. You know, choose to harbor peace, to move towards that, to go all the way with it. Like, what would you have to do? to stay peaceful, to forgive you, to release fear, release shame, release um, anything that will hold you hostage to the past. Forgive yourself. A leg up. Your spiritual gifts definitely give you a leg up, beloved. I feel you being elevated. I feel you being helped up. I feel you even being carried through some harsh conditions, right? Because um, this baby bear, this child, is climbing on the back of the parent that's carrying them. That gives them a leg up. We see serendipity. Luck. Lucky. But the ultimate. Which one? This. Ooh, see? Fate. Destiny. It's your destiny. Serendipity. Did you want that too? No. Which one? This. Things are being mended. It's a message. A message in a bottle. You can give a message. You can be a messenger. We've been picking up that energy too. Messengers awakening. I'm hearing disciples. Disciples return. We see exchanging gifts and loyal heart co-creators, you know, work together to do a job. Be flexible. You're going to come together, I feel, with somebody new. And you guys will have an equal give and take, a good exchange. I feel a good exchange rate. <laughs> Almost like, like currency, but not money. It's not currency like money. I'm feeling energy, right? Your energy. Flex, so you're both going to have a sense of flexibility. I'm hearing bend but don't break type of energy. Anything else? Yes. We see star seed activations. Or what is this? Work your light. Work your light. Work your life. Get grounded. Empath. Highly sensitive person. Connecting with nature. Releasing soul patterns. Contracts and past lives. New life we saw. Releasing soul patterns. We saw released several times. And we definitely called out that you and this past person could have had some sort of contract. You are being unbounded. You are being released. You are being freed. Don't dim your light to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Don't dim it. You are perfect. Right? That's that insecurity, self-worth. Where are you being called to journey to? Towards your life purpose. The Most High God is walking with you. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. And I definitely feel this person as a mystic, right? This is a priestess, queen of wands type of energy. Queen of wands type of energy. Look at that. But definitely a mystic. Definitely confidence. I'm feeling DNA energy. I'm feeling DNA upgrade, DNA repair, cellular healing, right? DNA code repair. Deep healing. Deep transformation, right? Get grounded. Anything else in here? No. Which one? This one. A thick band on that.
There's nothing else with a message? No. Any last words? Yes. Alpha Omega, the Most High God says to heal now in order to prepare, heal in the now to prepare for the future. And prepare and future was wrote in upside down. So I'm getting above. It's something spiritual, either something from the spirit realm is coming into this physical realm, as above, so below type energy. Or, um,. That's it. That's what they said. That's it. A miracle of abundance. Something is coming in from you. It's in the spirit. Released from the spirit. Someone going to the spirit, back to the spirit. Um, but your abundance is coming and your destiny is, is crowning. I hear your destiny is crowning. Right, and whatever it is, this is faded, and it's coming from the eternal one and seven, breaking down to eight. I'm feeling the infinite, right? Three and five, breaking down to eight. I'm feeling the infinite, loyal heart. I feel reassignment. I'm feeling new partnership. I also see two and seven, breaking down to a nine. I feel like this is going to be, I'm, I'm seeing nine, Nine of Cups energy, like wish fulfillment, right? I'm feeling, um, yeah, wishes fulfilled, like a gift or something. Like the way this is popping out, like it's def. I feel like it's a difference between you two. I don't know why I'm picking that up. It's a difference between you two, but whoever this person is thinks that you're a gift. Like you, you're their wish fulfillment with this um, nine beloved. Three and seven is definitely, again, I'm getting that energy of seven large. I'm feeling strategy. You know what I mean? Like, as a way to carry you through this harsh, con harsh conditions, whatever strategy the Most High God used, putting you on his back and carrying you through, protecting you, shielding you, guarding you. Something in here. Guarding you through these life situations, helping clarify the situation so it can reveal your purpose. Yeah. Somebody still isn't over what happened in the past. That could be you, beloved, which is why the emotion keeps coming up uh, that message of releasing the past. Stay out of the past, stay out of the future. Forgive yourself so that you don't hold yourself hostage to the past. Forgive others so that you don't hold yourself hostage to the past. Don't think scary thoughts about the future. You don't know what's going to happen. We just don't know, right? False expectations appearing real. So when we think about things and we make these stories up in self in our head, a lot of times they don't even come to fruition. They don't happen, right? But if we be present, we can harbor peace. We can see our strength. Yes, that we have the ability to persist, to pursue, to endure, to go the distance. We can do it. Yeah. Again, the energy of forgive. Forgive. Faith is coming now from the spirit. It is go with the flow, beloved. Stay with the flow. Harbor peace. Yep, that's what we got, 24, 44. It was actually 44, 24, and we read it backwards. So something is moving from the end to the beginning. Moving backwards so that things can spiral forward or go forward, like energy to go forward, cycle forward.
We have the energy of seven. A leg up. Seven. A leg up. You definitely have an advantage. I feel your gift, your empathy, clear off. Clear audience. Listen to me, I heard. We see the energy of seven. Again, another four and another three. Listen to the Alpha and Omega. They give you a leg up, both of them. I feel a spiritual appearance. I mean, I'm telling you, I can't make it up. Four and three. And we wrote another four and three. The energy of 77 could be significant. Seven, seven is here, right? And they put it seven, 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 seven. Seven, 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 seven. Energy of seven, 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 seven. Just kind of going with the flow. Seven, 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 seven. And the angel cards is perseverance. Perseverance. Yes, my <laughs> Perseverance. This is the angel number seven, 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 seven. Right here. Perseverance. Hold on to your vision. You have limitless potential. Zero, 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 zero. I'm seeing new life. Reset. Reset. Relaxation. Unknown. Surrender. Two, two, two. Two feminine forces. I'm getting Empress energy. Feminine forces. Divine feminine. Right? You can do everything by yourself, but life is to be shared. Balance, prosperity, efficiency. We see in relationships, cycles, and we see lessons learned. Cycles. We said things are going back. This is a 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 0, 1, 1, 0, but backwards, spiritual awakening, mirroring, lessons learned. We see compromise as well. Spiritual awakening. Compromise, 3, 3, 3, you're supported. You have support. We also see the energy of 3, taking action. Take action. We definitely do see 7777, seven, 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 and we know that it's perseverance. 101, look, starting over. A new start, a new life, intelligence, dynamics, making a difference. Whatever it is that you're going to do, personal or spiritual development, whatever you're going to do, it's going to lead to great blessings. It is. Great blessings. I'm feeling like next level-ish, right? Reset, zero, 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 limitless potential. Keep the vision, things are ending, a new cycle beginning. We see karma, warning, judgment, that's on here, right? That person, that soulmate, the one that broke the contract, yeah, that's what they're getting, for sure. And they're going to start over, you're going to start over, everybody starts over. Great lessons are coming. Self-love, boundaries, we see boundaries, needs, goals, um, good vibes, keeping good vibes, wisdom, understanding, letting go, releasing, right? Again, Twelve, twelve. persistence. Stay persistent. That's another 3-3. Three, three, 33. Energy. Self-love. Shifting. I think something is going to shift. I feel self-love. Clarity. You're going to get it. Great transformation. Major changes. Opportunity. Fast pace forward. That's why I felt like the most I got was saying heal now because things are going to take off quickly. Prepare for the future. Compromise. A compromise is here. Self-awareness. Forgiveness. Again, empathy. Being empathic. 
tenacity, gaining some freedom, let go of what no the don't say that. Let go. Let go. High vibes. Hold your high vibes. We see readjustments. 1616. 1717 <laughs> drama alert. Yeah, it's something gonna happen. Tower. Right. But we do see a soul mission and we see alone time and we saw healing through alone time, spending some time alone. High vibes again and like and up. Commitment is here and wish come true. You definitely are gonna be somebody's wish come true. That exchange, that gift, wishes come true. One, 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 war, one, 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 one breaks down to four, beloved. I'm feeling four of wands, four of wands, stability, moderation, patience, flowing, the flow, currency also, self-realization, realizing who you are, manifestation, gateway, taking action. You're in for a lucky break. We have 0808. Swift action. Whatever, whenever something happens or this sudden change, tower moment, I'm feeling, right? An auspicious outcome. You will enter a time of expansion. So begin by taking steps towards achieving your ultimate objective immediately. Immediately. Mor finances will miraculously improve. Miracle. A lucky shirt. Something is getting ready to change for you. We see 222 two, two, alignment. 666 six, six, reflect. Right? We see the void. 2002. Zero, zero, two. Longing. Some sort of longing. We see the genius. There's some sort of... There's something inside of you. Some sort of gift. You have more control over your life than you realize if you just stay present. Stay present. Right? Starting fresh. Somebody's getting ready to start fresh. 44, which breaks down to 8, which is the eternal, infinite, I feel. Encouragement. Goals. Foundations. A new foundation. Exploring. A creative adventure. Communication. We see 555. Again, we saw 5555, which is clarity. And this one right here is change. Something is getting ready to change. It's going to cause you to reflect and look back on things. An unexpected development will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need to, you need, you can't tell you to do a fuck shit thing. What you need to do and what you choose to do is on you, beloved. These are suggestions. But it would behoove you to make a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and your inner voice. And we heard that the, the listen to the Most High God, they're speaking to you, clear audience, a gift. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. Change. Miracle is here. Seven, seven, compromise. Seven, seven, compromise. It wasn't the seven, seven, seven of perseverance, but I definitely, you know, pick up on that energy. I can see it. I know that that's what they said. Because you can read these fours, these sevens, four ways. But definitely seven, 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 compromise. Self-awareness, forgiveness, which we touched on forgiveness. Forgiveness of self and other selves so that you are no longer held a hostage to the past. Release it. Don't tell yourself scary stories about the future, creating fear and insecurity. Release it. Be present. Be present now and harbor peace. Stop holding on to grudges. Express your emotions and aim towards a compromise. Where there's a lack of understanding, it's just best to move on. The truth will set you free. Anything else? No, nope. they answered it before I even asked the question. <laughs> Is there anything else? Did we get that out right? Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining us. 54 for you <laughs> we said that we appreciate you being here nine i feel 
the nine, like the pentacle, almost to the top of this mountain, beloved, before you hit the peak, which could be like that tough ending, the ending of that climb. And you may be starting a descent. Somebody could be starting a descent. You could be starting the track towards another peak, beloved. Yes. And that could be true for the both of you, right? Somebody's descending and someone's starting a track to another ascent. Like a whole nother peak of a... Could be the same mountain that you climbing. You know, I feel like you're probably going to run into somebody else that's climbing too. Y'all going to climb together and help each other out there. Help you. But, um, yeah, you got gifts and they're awakening. And the most high God is revealing things onto you, is speaking to you about your purpose and what it is that you are called to do. But release you. Don't punish you. Don't punish other yous by holding on to grudges. Now, none of us are perfect. We're just not but we can work at it. And one of the ways, ways we work at it, the way Alpha, Omega, and Alpha has said is to be present, to harbor peace, be present. Right now, the Most High God is with me. It protected me. It brought me through. It has met all of my needs. My needs are met in this moment. There's nothing that I need. So therefore, anything else exceeds the need. And if we could see that and accept that and do it, you know, I'm feeling a step at a time, then you will see yourself a recipient, a beneficiary. I'm feeling milk and honey, beloved, like the rainbow, right? And I'm seeing Skittles. Who doesn't like Skittles? I like Skittles. But who doesn't want to taste? Taste the rainbow. I'm just saying. Serendipity, four leaf clover, lucky. Ooh. To taste the goodness of creation, to see it, to smell it, to hear it, to feel it, to feel it. Emotions. Vision, intuition, imagination. To know that you are connected. Tethered, the mind of the Most High God. Everything from the beginning to the ending and the ending to the beginning. Yeah. To taste the goodness in between creation. For we are it, beloved. Yes, we are. We are the begotten. Pixels and pieces of it. <laughs> the body, right? Um, and that's sweet. Not bitter. But, you know, situations can be bittersweet. They can cause us grief. And it can be like, mm, I tasted that and it was kind of nasty. <laughs> but that's okay. Because it's the experience. And if you are still here under the sound of this voice, then you're stronger, faster, more effective, and more efficient. Yes. Thank you again for joining us here on the Tears of We Draw Show. You showed up, never know what you're going to get, but love it. You're just down. It's like life. I can't call it. <laughs> but we love you. We do. We love you like we love us because we love the Alpha and the Omega. The Omega and the Alpha that made us, that sent us to be the infinite intelligence breathing. The word lives in this day. Yes, it does. To the next now. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. I sure.